Ubuntu, Linux distribution. From Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, http colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org. Ubuntu is a predominantly desktop-oriented Linux distribution based on Debian GNU Linux, but with a stronger focus on usability, regular releases, and ease of installation. Ubuntu is sponsored by Canonical Limited, owned by South African Mark Shuttleworth. The name of the distribution comes from the African concept of Ubuntu, translated roughly as Humanity Towards Others. The most recent version, Ubuntu 6.06 LTS, codenamed Dapper Drake, was released on June 1st, 2006, and will be supported for three years on the desktop and five years on the server, instead of the usual 18 months. Ubuntu aims to use only free software to provide an up-to-date yet stable operating system for the average user. Ubuntu has a lively user and support community. Kubuntu and Zubuntu are official sub-projects of the Ubuntu project, aiming to bring the KDE and XFCE desktop environments to the Ubuntu core, respectively. Edubuntu is an official sub-project, quote, designed for school environments and should be equally suitable for kids to use at home, unquote. Section 1. History and Development Process Ubuntu's first release was on October 20, 2004, which began by making a temporary fork of the Debian Linux project. This was done so that a new version of Ubuntu could be released every six months, resulting in a more frequently updated system. Ubuntu releases always include the most recent GNOME release, and are scheduled to be released about a month after GNOME. In contrast with previous general-purpose forks of Debian, such as Mepis, Xandros, Inspire, Progeny, and LibreNet, many of which relied on closed-source add-ons as part of their business model, Ubuntu has stayed closer to Debian's philosophy and uses free software most of the time. Ubuntu packages have generally been based on packages from Debian's unstable branch. Both distributions use Debian's dev package format and APT Synaptic to manage installed packages. Ubuntu has contributed all changes directly and immediately back to Debian, rather than announcing them only at release time, although Debian and Ubuntu packages are not necessarily binary compatible with each other. Many Ubuntu developers are also maintainers of key packages within Debian itself. However, Ian Murdoch, the founder of Debian, has criticized Ubuntu for incompatibility between its packages and those of Debian, saying that Ubuntu had diverged too far from Debian Sarge to remain compatible. There are plans for a branch codenamed Grumpy Groundhog. It will be a permanently unstable development and testing branch, pulling the source directly out of the revision control of the various programs and applications that are shipped as part of Ubuntu. This will allow power users and upstream developers to test up-to-the-minute versions of individual programs as they would appear if packaged for the distribution today, without needing to build packages themselves. It will be able to provide early warning of build failures on various architectures. It is intended that Grumpy Groundhog should merge with Debian Unstable every six months. Your Grumpy Groundhog has not been made available to the public yet. Ubuntu is currently funded by Canonical Limited. On July 8, 2005, Mark Shuttleworth and Canonical Limited announced the creation of the Ubuntu Foundation and provided an initial funding of U.S. $10 million. The purpose of the Foundation is to ensure the support and development for all future versions of Ubuntu, but as of 2006, the Foundation remains dormant. Mark Shuttleworth describes the Foundation as an emergency fund in case Canonical's involvement ends. Section 2. The Distribution Features Ubuntu focuses on usability, including the widespread use of the sudo tool for administrative tasks. Sudo authenticates users against their own password rather than that of the target user to allow the delegation of specific commands to specific users on specific hosts without sharing passwords among them and mitigating the risk of unattended terminals. Once the user has been authenticated, the system updates a timestamp and the user may then use sudo without a password for a short period of time, 15 minutes unless overridden in slash etc slash sudoers. The Ubiquity installer, previously called Espresso, included in the live CD version of the Dapper release, allows installing Ubuntu to the hard disk from within the live CD environment without the need for restarting the computer. Ubuntu, furthermore, emphasizes accessibility and internationalization to reach as many people as possible. 
as of version 5.04, UTF-8 is the default character encoding. Besides standard system tools and other small applications, Ubuntu comes with the pre-installed software OpenOffice.org, the internet browser Firefox, and the raster graphics editor GIMP. Several lightweight card and puzzle games are included. Ubuntu offers a full feature set that works straight from the standard install, but nonetheless fits on a single CD. A live CD and a traditional install CD have been available for each release. Live CDs allow users to see whether their hardware is compatible before installation to the hard disk. Ubuntu, Kubuntu, and Edubuntu CDs are mailed free to anyone who requests them, and CD images are available for download. Ubuntu requires 256 megabytes of RAM, and when installed to the hard disk, needs 3 gigabytes of hard disk space. An alternate install disk using a standard Debian installer in text mode is available for download only, and is aimed at people with lower system specifications, computer dealers selling pre-installed systems, and for complex partitioning including the use of LVM or RAID. The default appearance of the user interface in the current version is characterized by shades of brown and orange. Until April 2005, Ubuntu had an optional package called Ubuntu Calendar, which downloaded a new desktop wallpaper monthly matching the brown color theme. These wallpapers featured partially nude people and were criticized as risque. This led to the coining of nicknames such as Linux, spelled with three X's, and the Porn Distro. Package Classification and Support Ubuntu divides all software into four sections, called Components, to reflect differences in licensing and level of support available. Packages are assigned to components as followed. Supported, Free Software, Main, Non-Free Software, Restricted, Unsupported, Free Software, Universe, Non-Free Software, Multiverse. Free software here includes only that which meets the Ubuntu license requirements, which correspond roughly to the Debian free software guidelines. There is one caveat for main, however. It, quote, also may contain binary firmware and selected fonts, which are used by free components of main, that cannot be modified without permission from their authors, end quote, so long as their, quote, redistribution is unencumbered, end quote. Non-free software is usually unsupported, multiverse, but some exceptions, restricted, are made for very important non-free software, such as non-free device drivers, without which users might be prevented from running Ubuntu on their system, particularly binary-only graphics card drivers. The level of support is more limited than for main, since the developers may not have access to the, to the source code. It is intended that main and restricted should contain all software needed for a general-use Linux system. Alternative programs for the same tasks and programs for specialized applications are placed in universe and multiverse. Beyond the official repositories is Ubuntu Backports, which is an officially recognized project to backport newer versions of certain software that are available only in unstable versions of Ubuntu. The repository is not comprehensive. It mostly consists of user-requested packages, which are approved if they meet quality guidelines. Availability of proprietary software. Further information may be found at Linux distribution proprietary software. Ubuntu has a certification system for third-party software. Ubuntu's certified proprietary software should work well in Ubuntu. However, many programs familiar to users of non-free operating systems, such as Microsoft Windows, are incompatible and are not Ubuntu certified. Some proprietary software that does not limit distribution is included in Ubuntu's multiverse component. Some examples of software that are not distributed by Ubuntu include Software that enables the playback of region-locked video DVDs due to the questionable legal status of the DCESS open source DVD decoding library in some parts of the world. Note, the library is needed even when watching a DVD in the target region. Encoding and decoding libraries for many proprietary media formats, such as Windows Media. Some popular proprietary web browser plugins, such as Adobe's, formerly Macromedia's, Shockwave, there is no Linux version, and Flash, a workaround to the specific prohibition against redistribution in its end-user license agreement, or EULA, is the multiverse package Flash plugin non-free, which automatically downloads this Linux Flash plugin directly from Adobe's site and then installs it. 
releases. Each release has both a code name and a version number. The version number is based on the year and month of release. For example, the very first release of Ubuntu 4.10 was released on October 20, 2004. Below is a list of previous and planned releases. Version 4.10 was released on October 20, 2004 under code name Warty Warthog. Version 5.04 was released on April 8, 2005 under code name Holy Hedgehog. Version 5.10 was released on October 13, 2005 under code name Breezy Badger. Version 6.06 LTS was released on June 1, 2006 under code name Dapper Drake. And version 6.10 is planned for release on October 26, 2006 under code name Edgy F. Ubuntu 6.06 .06 Dapper Drake was released on June 1, 2000, 2006 and included GNOME 2.14 or KDE 3.5.2 in Kubuntu, Mozilla Firefox 1.5.0.3, OpenOffice.org 2.0.2, XORD 7.0, GCC 4.0.3, and version 2.6.15 of the Linux kernel at release time. Several packages have been upgraded since. Release 6.06 .06 is labeled as a long-term support, LTS, to indicate that it will be supported with updates for three years on the desktop and five years on the server, with paid technical support available from Canonical Limited, also for three and five years, respectively. Variants. There are several variants besides Ubuntu available as CD ISOs for download, and in the case of Kubuntu and Edubuntu, for free mail order from Shipit. These simply install a different set of packages from the original Ubuntu, but since they draw additional packages and updates from the same repositories as Ubuntu, all of the same software is available for each of them. These different versions correspond to development efforts run by largely separate groups of people who try to bring different functionalities to the distribution. Kubuntu, a desktop distribution using KDE rather than GNOME, Edubuntu, a distribution designed for classrooms using GNOME, Zubuntu, a lightweight distribution based on the XFCE desktop environment. Ubuntu Server Edition has been released alongside the desktop version since Ubuntu 5.10 Breezy Badger. This provides server applications such as an email server, a LAMP web server platform, as well as tools for DNS, file serving, and database management. Compared with the original desktop edition, the server edition comes as a smaller CD image and has a lower level of hardware requirements. It runs on a minimum of 500 megabytes of hard disk space and 64 megabytes of RAM. Response the Ubuntu page on distrowatch.com has been the most frequently accessed of their comp comprehensive list of Linux distributions for more than a year, and Ubuntu was awarded the Reader Award for Best Linux Distribution at the 2005 Linux World Conference and Expo in London. It has been favorably reviewed in online and print publications. Many reviewers of Ubuntu point out the main part of Ubuntu's success is the fact it has a very large community. Section 3, Derivative Projects. Mark Shuttleworth has endorsed the creation of an Ubuntu Libre distribution using only FSF-approved free software. These projects are closely linked to Ubuntu. As of 2006, the releases are simultaneous with Ubuntu's, and packages are drawn from the same official repositories Ubuntu uses. There are also several unofficial derivatives. In Ubuntu, a distribution including many security tools, Ubuntu Lite, a distribution for legacy systems, older computers. ZUbuntu, a port of Ubuntu to the IBM eServer Z series mainframe. Ubuntu, a fork of Ubuntu with the Enlightenment 0.17 window manager. Fluxbuntu, a distribution using Fluxbox. And it was widely rumored that Google was building and would be distributing an Ubuntu derivative called Gubuntu. Google confirmed that they have created a modified version of Ubuntu, but also insisted that they have no plans to distribute this version outside the company. See also Comparison of Linux Distributions, Go Open Source. For further reading in print, see Beginning Ubuntu Linux, USA Press, ISBN 1590596277, 
by Thomas K. 2006. Also, Ubuntu Hacks, U.S. O'Reilly Media, ISBN 0596527209, by Oxer J. 2006. Scheduled for release in late 2006, the official Ubuntu book, and moving to Ubuntu Linux. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the new the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.